PA Tech Tip, I'll show you how to set up the multi-cell differential scanning calorimeter with the specialized batch ampules. There are several differences between the batch setup and the standard setup. For example, the standard lid is solid and the batch lid has access ports. The other large difference is, are the shunts. The inner and outer shunt for the standard ampules are closed, whereas the inner an outer shunt for the batch assembly includes holes. This allows for the Hastole rod then to go through these holes. Now I'll show you how to load a batch ampule. This is a batch ampule that's been taken apart. Here's the outer compartment, the larger compartment, and here's the small inner compartment. The first thing that we'll do is load the outer compartment with a liquid. This is pipetted into the bottom, making sure that we don't have any bubbles or any drops that are on the side of the ampule. The next portion is to load the solid or, if in a different case, a liquid into this upper compartment. This is done with a solid that's already been pre-weighed and now is loaded into the ampule. Care must be taken at this point so we don't introduce the solid up in top in this upper chamber into the liquid down in the bottom in the lower chamber. At this point we have a nice seal with the o-rings and now the lid can be dropped down on top of the sample. You can screw it finger tight or if there is concern a tool can be used to then hold this ampule and get a tighter lock on the lid. From here, the inner shunt is dropped down the Hastelo rod, so is the outer shunt. And now this entire apparatus can be loaded into the instrument. After the entire apparatus has been assembled with inner shunt and outer shunt sitting on the ampule, this entire portion, or this entire piece, can be lowered into the unit. There is an option to have the the same batch assembly back in the reference or to have multiple batch assemblies. But in this case, we have a closed ampule in the reference and then only one batch assembly loaded into the instrument. From here, the lid can be added. This is done by pressing these closures in place for those that aren't occupied by the batch. Now the entire lid is placed on top of the instrument and pushed down for a good O-ring seal. Now we can line this hole up with the Hastole rod. We didn't want to put this on before for fear of moving the rod. Now it's in place. Data can be collected after the instrument is equilibrated. After a period of time, the rod can be pushed down and the solid in the top inner chamber is introduced into the liquid down in the bottom in the outer chamber.